Sky Sports coverage of World Match Play Darts. Paul, last year here at the Bet Victor World Match Play, it was tears of disappointment. This year, there are there are tears of joy, tears of happiness from you. Yeah, um, happy to have my brother here to share that moment. I got a chance in that last leg. Um, Robert should have made it 9-9, I know that. But when I got the opportunity, I thought, you've got to take it now, otherwise it's going to be capitulation time. And I thought, just take it out because you're not going to get a better chance. I've worked so hard over the last couple of weeks. I've had so much pain in my neck and pain in my shoulders over the last two or three months. And I've worked really hard with an acupuncturist and with my therapist because I know for a fact what's going wrong. Hmm. And um, like I said to Rod Stewart on, on Sky Sports coverage there, uh, you can watch out now because once I figured out what was wrong, yeah. now I can put it right. And uh, that was the first dose of it. So let's, uh, let's look forward. Could this be a significant hurdle for you to, to get over as well? Because there's been obviously a lot of pressure that's, that's come on you in, in tournaments. To get past this hurdle could be, could be quite big now. I think it's a big hurdle. I mean, I watched the coverage last night and then we're talking about Andy Smith's uh, record in this tournament and I was the only person he ever beat <laughs> and I thought oh my god I've got to, I've got to erase that really quickly mm. uh, fair play to Andy I mean he, I think he played really well against James last night but um, as far as my own personal circumstances is concerned um, I've taken a bit of a break from the game I've, I've not qualified for the last five European events and I think that's been a blessing I really do because it's made me focus on my personal life and made me focus on my injuries getting everything right and being happy again and the fact that I've got my brother and his um, his girlfriend here today has shown a sign of faith I actually feel like I can turn my neck for the first time in the last two or three weeks which is quite nice um, I've been told not to play golf for a month which I'll probably blip, break tomorrow but um, as far as my darts are concerned uh, Winmo have, have shown amazing faith in me and I appreciate that because they've shown a willingness to show me where to go and like I said on the Sky coverage, Simon Whitlock has, has given me a lot of tutelage into what I should be using uh, for my game going forward. And I can see a lot of positives. You know, in that first five or six legs, I can see some good scoring. And I've just got to get some consistency, and that'll come with match practice. And uh, I'm looking forward to the future. Yeah, well, and when it got tough today as well, you really dug in and you produced probably your best starts at some crucial times 108 in there, 107. They're not massive finishes, but they were really important. Yeah, they were important and they were gritty shots. And when I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to be thinking about the crowd booing me. I mean, I don't think they've booed anybody in the course of this tournament yet, but for some reason they seem to do it. And I've got a funny feeling it might have been sort of a, a, like a gesture towards making me feel better. And look at the shots I took out when I was being booed. I hit everyone. And I turned around, I told them to shut up, and all of a sudden, hold on, I won the leg. And they were quiet. Um, <laughs> Like I say, I, I think when they were booing at the end of the match, I think they just didn't want it to end. You know, Robert and I were playing a real gritty game, and that's what people want to watch. And uh, fortunately, I, I won the game. It's Wes Newton or Ronnie Baxter in the next round, but I, I get the feeling at the minute it's about how you perform, and you don't really matter who you come up against. No, I don't care. Wes is a fantastic friend of mine. I think he's a phenomenal family man. He's, he's a great Blackpool icon. Uh, so is Ronnie. Uh, but I just get the feeling that, you know, Wes is, is, is starting to... You re, really get himself on the up he's the kind of player I want to play right now and uh, you know a real respectful game if I play Ronnie it's probably going to be a hateful game because he's, he's beat me in some some very important games on the Pro Tour yeah. but um, as far as I'm concerned I, I'm not really bothered um, but if I had my choice I'd rather play Wes and I know you've had the neck problem but the feet are working alright because you, you managed to do a couple of lengths of the walk on there giving high fives <laughs> to everyone in the crowd <laughs> my feet are alright um, what I will say is I had these kinesis plasters on my neck all morning and it gave a little bit of a shot of like pain killing through my neck and it, it did make me feel better I couldn't wear them on stage because the sweat was making them peel yeah it's that hot up there I mean I mean I will say it to people out there <laughs> it's really hot but if you can handle the heat you can do anything up there it's it's a great place to play and I'm just glad I won my second game on that stage because that is that is awesome you certainly handled the heat today. Well done, mate. <laughs> Thank you very Cheers. much. Bet Victor sponsors Sky Sports coverage of World Match Play Darts. Winner! Winner!